good afternoon or morning, depending on when you chose to come and visit us. This is Dr. Susan, and we are here for a uh, part of our series of Play and Learn. And today, we're going to discover you. And in that process, we're going to discover lots of things about you and lots of things about how the world was waiting for just you. So I have a very special book today, and it's called Hooray for You. And the, uh, it is written and illustrated by uh, Marianne Richmond. Yes, Marianne Richmond. And she uh, wrote the book, and she also designed and did all of the illustrations. And they're really beautiful, lots of really great colors. So we're going to read that story, and then we're going to discover a little bit about you and me and how we, how we place ourselves in the world. All right? So the story is just basically about you. So let's see. It's story time, and hooray, it's all about you. And the terminology that Marianne Richards, Richard Richmond sorry, uses is a celebration of you-ness. So this is about who you are and the wonderful, spectacular things that show. So let's see what happens. For quite a long time, the world saved a place for you. Just you. Millions were born, yet none filled your space. Until the second of a minute, until the second of a minute of one special day, you took your first breath and the world said, Hooray! Perfectly timed, not one minute more, suddenly you, suddenly, were where you were, not before. And there you are. But planning preceded your healthy debut as all was completed in the eunice of you. We all come in our own perfect time. Eunice, you ask, quite hard to describe. It's your style of being, your rhythm or vibe. It's the grand sum of you that sets you apart. Your body and brains plus your spirit and your heart. Isn't it something that your, that your wonderful face is not like any other, any other in the whole human race? Your smile, for starters, grows up just so when you laugh or act silly or tell jokes that you know. No one does it the same. The body you live in, the body you live in can jump, dance, and play and custom-built parts to move your own way. Even your hair, be it black, brown, or red, it does its own thing on the top of your head. You certainly can't tell it what to do. And your certain good looks are just one teensy part of the Eunice, Eunice galore of your mind and your heart. There is the essence of what you're about, the true who of you, within and without. For instance, the way your brain likes to think. It just happens, you say, like a sneeze or a blink. Automatic for sure, but predictable not. For no other has your process of thought. You think big dreams and original schemes. Your wide-eyed wishes are your dreamiest dreams. And your feelings deep down are colorful creations, a kaleidoscope of moods and emotional sensations. Who else can know your kind of glad, silly, excited, grumpy, or sad? And the cool thing that's true is how you can grow when there's thinking to change or new stuff to know. You're perfect as you. 
But my friend, you will see, days when delighted is not what you'll be. And you might even think, I'd, I'd wish to be like him, her, or them, any person but me. Then stop that at once, put gloom on the shelf. Say goodbye to doubt and hooray for yourself. Yes, from head to toe tip, you're truly original, a creation in process, a distinctive individual. Look the world over and you'll never find a duplicate of you-ness that you are one of a kind. On the day you were born, the world grew by one, a life with big purpose and must to be done. Like, look in a mirror, love who you see, stand tall, smile big, shout hooray for me. The end. Wow, that had a lot to say. That book, I love the, the uh, illustrations and the color and everything that Marianne used was absolutely wonderful. And I want to let you know that if you're interested in having this book, or mom or dad, if you want to keep, have something like that, uh, we found it at Target, and also Walmart, and also Amazon. So those are three different places that you can look to purchase the book if you want to, keep, uh, want to have that for yourself. It's such a great reminder, not only for our boys and girls and our children and grandchildren and such, it's great for just yourself to remember who you are because there is that special place for you too so what i wanted to do today just for fun is to create a poster of you now i don't know you personally i know some i know maverick and i know uh, acacia i know odin and i know uh, sydney and lots of other the boys and girls that come to our center every once in a while and we we get to know them who they are their likes and their dislikes and some of you I don't know and that's okay if I don't but I do know that there's that energy in their love that love about you that not only affects your family affects your community and your neighborhood and your school you live in live at but the whole world because you're in it and because you are there's energy created by you so, I want to make a poster that celebrates you. And what I'd like you to do, and again, you don't have to have the book. Yeah, the book is really cool. I'm so happy I have one and can share it with my grandkids. But to have a poster of yourself, I'm going to use, I use some of the things that's in the book. Um, and, uh, and then uh, you can go ahead and find words and magazines and things like that that depict who you are and say things about you. Uh, you can use your own pictures of you, things that you like to do, of your family, of your community. You can make a poster that you can hang in your living room or your dining room or in the kitchen. Probably too big for the refrigerator, but you could still do it. So here's what I did is I went ahead and you can see right down here, I have a blue post, uh, poster board and I found a picture on the internet that has the world in the middle and it has boys and girls all the way around okay that we don't know what country they're from or we don't know where they live or anything but we do know one thing special about them they're here on purpose they have a special thing that they've come here to do and to be and to change not only their parents lives but the lives of their grandparents and their cousins and aunts and uncles and the whole thing, anybody they come in contact with. And so the boys and girls walking, standing around the world are part of who you are. And uh, what I'd like you to do, if you don't mind doing it, is to make this kind of a poster. And on the parts that have to be, that are specifically about you, if you would write on pen or pencil un underneath whatever pictures you pick out that tell us about you. So I'm going to start 
like, like Marianne, did, or Marianne did. There's the picture of the world. And I have saved the world. Here's the world. It's a little word here. That was out of the book. Saved a place for you. So I'm going to take this first and I'm going to glue it down. So that, but even magazine pictures that you find, that like if you like space, you can put the planets, you can put, you know, anything that you want that tells us about you. And we're going to put that right there in the middle, just like that. Okay? And then, because Marianne did a beautiful job, is I'm just going to paste these pictures that I borrowed from her book and place them here. The world saved a place just for you. So under this particular part, that says saved a place, and here's the word place. I glue that right here. And I go over top of the, some of these boys and girls, but I think that's okay. Just like that. Just for you. So, in the very center, because we're all very special and we all have a perfect place for ourselves, we are going to put your space right here in the middle. And wherever that happens to be for you, whether you live in California, whether you live, maybe you live in China, or maybe you've lived in China, or, or you lived in Europe, or any of those places, there's that very special place for you. And so it says, your space, and we're going to put me, which is, of course, you. So what I want you, would like you to do is to write on your poster your name, and if you know your time that you were born, and the city or town that you were born in, to write that somewhere up here. So that tells us, and, and tells you too, because this is your story. So you can put that right there. And if you get the book, don't copy the pictures or cut it up, okay? <laughs> just keep the, picture, the book whole, because that's wonderful. I just copied them because I wanted to share them with you so that you could purchase them and purchase the possibly get the book and I have it on your bookshelf and then you'll get to watch it and read it more than one time. All right. So then we have a space just for you. So there you are. And then you, maybe you can write over here on this part of the world where you live, what country or what city or what town. You can fill that in there. And the parts of who you are. And this one here says, from your head to the tip of your toe, you're truly original, a creation in process, a distinctive individual. So there is that. So we're going to put this on here because that's true. And maybe what you can do, even though, you know, you're not, you're not really old and you haven't gone to college and all those places and not, not knowing where exactly you're going to end up being or the things that you're going to create for the world, not necessarily yourself, but the things that you're going to create for the world, and you're going to create for yourself and your family. But they're all going to be original because they're you. They, they come from your thoughts and your, your ideas, and they come from your heart, and they come from your dreams. So we're going to put heart. So what is at your very heart that you like to do the very best that tells us about you? So there's your heart. And your dreams. And what kind of dreams do you have? I mean, when I was growing up, I never, I don't think I ever had any dreams about uh, becoming a minister or anything like that or, or a teacher. I know I liked to sew. I used to do a lot of that when I was little, and I, and I do. I sew a lot, and that's one of my very favorite things. I guess you could call it my hobby. Very favorite things that I do, and I sew from people and things like that. And I make things up out of my own mind. So we're going to put mind there. Because I'm certain that you guys come up with all kinds of really cool things in your mind. From the pictures you draw to the, the things that you might create. So I know my grandson, he plays with Legos. And he does amazing things. You buy the box that has the picture on it. And that's what it's supposed to look like when you're finished. 
He starts out that way, but it doesn't end up that way. He creates all kinds of things out of what was in the package. And he sees different things, and he has different ideas. So he goes ahead and uses them. And those are his big ideas that he uses, and his stuff comes out absolutely amazing. And he does all kinds of fun stuff with it. But that's part of who he is. He loves to, he calls himself a creator. He loves to create. And I'm sure each and every one of you have that part of who you are and how you do that. So wishes. What kind of wishes do you have? Do you have wishes? You know, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. Well, when we place our wishes in our, my mind, in our mind and we kind of see those things that we'd like to do, those wishes become true by seeing what they are and then thinking of ways in which to make them true and make them happen. So there's thinking. So there's your thoughts, the thoughts you think and the thoughts that make such a big difference about who you are. And then, we, then there's that one other special, actually two, one other special part about you is your spirit and your heart. And inside of you there is that very special thought that very special idea that makes you so super special, not only to your family, but to the world. So there's your spirit and your heart. So what I would like to do, you to do, if you, would, if you want to make a poster like this for yourself, or maybe help your brother and sister do one, um, maybe mom and dad can make one for themselves too. Just because they're a certain age doesn't mean that they don't have desires and dreams and wishes and uh, the heart and big ideas to do other things, not necessarily just what they're doing now. So everyone has that possibility. And that, that wonderful terminology that is used is called unis, the unis of who you are, the things that you take into the world and the things that you do and the things that you love and uh, the way in which you treat yourself and the way in which you treat others. So we're going to put Eunice right down here. I love that word. The Eunice of you. And there's one other thing. No, no matter absolutely what happens, what you do, what you think, you are perfect just as you are. There isn't anything you have to do to make yourself more lovable, more huggable, more kissable, or anything else to your family and to, you, to the world in which you live in. And as we honor ourselves, we not only honor who we are, we honor our families, our parents and our grandparents and, and the people before that that we don't even know, that we didn't get a chance to meet. So we're going to put that right over here on this side. Just like that. And I have this big one here that says hooray for me, but I run out of space. So I think I'll put it over on the other side. And you are the star of this. And let's see, where would be a good place to put this? We're kind of, I hate to cover anything up. I know what we're going to do. We're going to take this and we're going to add more to this side. I've got some other things over here, but we're going to do that too. Because we don't want to leave anything out that has to do with the specialness of who you are. And this looks like nighttime. That's daytime on that side. And this looks like nighttime. This is a nighttime sky. So actually, we have two sides to our poster that tell us about us. Because we do, when we go to bed, we have dreams, right? Dreams of what we, are, what we can do and what we can be. And we have those. And I think those are very important to remember, too. So hooray for me. And then there's the you. And then, I also, since this is night, let's go ahead and put the moon out. So here's a picture of the moon. She has such beautiful artistry and beautiful book drawings and stuff in her book. It's just a very special book to have. It's a very special book you can give as a gift to a friend, you know, or to um, a set of new parents that are going to have a baby. This would be so sweet to let them know that they're that very special person that they're 
helping come into this world and to make a difference and, and uh, bless the world with all of who they are and the specialness that they bring. And our specialness never goes away either. You know, it'll change. We change our ideas and we change our thoughts and we change our feelings about lots of things. And maybe the first thought and first idea you had about what maybe you want to do when you, you get, uh, when you, say, grow up. When you grow up and you, you go out into the world and, and, uh, make, and make a difference for uh, other people of what you're going to be, you know, a doctor, a nurse, an attorney, or any of those things. There, there's just a multitude of ways that you can be you and show the world who you are and make an impact and make a difference in the world. So there's lots of ways. And a poster is a good way to put your ideas and your dreams at the very forefront so that you see them. And you see the poster. Maybe you can hang it on the back of your bedroom door to remind you of all the things that you dream about, all the things that you think about. And you can put those down also on the poster of, uh, you know, maybe say you're five and you think, oh, five, I want to be a fireman. I just know that's what I want to do. I want to help save people and take care of property and things like that. Then go ahead and put that down. And as, we, as you continue to grow and you learn things and, and maybe even change your mind and find there's something else that you really want to do. That's one of the great purposes that you have made and, the, you have made and that's what you want to do for yourself and for the world. And changing our minds is not a bad thing. And thinking that, yes, we're going to do this now and something else later, that's okay. And it's okay, too, to, to change your mind and to be, to be something different than you originally thought as you, as you grow up and you do things and experiment with, with different ideas and, and get to know different things. Because I know when we, when we first start out, we don't know very much. Our heart does and our mind does, but to be able to share it, we don't know that much. But as we grow, we know more and more. And the more we know, the more decisions we make, the more the things like that. So if you can take your poster and do something like that, and you also have two, which I thought was quite nice, that this is dark, which picks, depicts the nighttime. So there we are, hooray for me. In my thoughts and dreams and, and all the different things that she talks about in her book and tells us to remember how special we are, the dreams that we have, and the, uh, how original we are. There's no one in the world like you. There's just you. So all the boys and girls that we see around here, that's just a, that's just a you can't even put your fingers together to see that, how many that we have. But the units of you, your wishes, your big dreams, your heart, your mind, um, and the world saved a special place just for you so that you could come and do all those different things that you want to do, not only for yourself, but for our world. So please take a look at the book and maybe get that for yourself and make yourself a poster. And that would be kind of fun. And then maybe in a year you can look at it and go, wow, I think I changed my mind about this, this, and this. And add that to your poster so you can see how you're growing and how you're changing not only yourself, but the world you're living in. All right? So you guys have a great week. It was wonderful to be with you, and I look forward to seeing you the next time. Take care. Bye.